a very good morning to you all uh, the next experiment which uh, we have to do in a logic design lab is uh, experiment number 5 that is implementing uh, all the flip flops so um, this is the first experiment uh, that we have to do related to sequential circuits so any digital system if we take we can classify the circuits as combinational circuits or sequential circuits so coming to a combinational circuit uh, the output depends only on the input that is given uh, that is what combinational circuit is uh, sequential in sequential circuit output depends on uh, present input as well as the previous output so uh, here uh, in uh, sequential circuit we have a combinational circuit along with a memory element so uh, we'll be seeing what that memory element is so that is what a flip-flop is flip-flops are bi-stable devices uh, so uh, any memory system uh, is capable of storing uh, the data as zeros and ones so flip-flop uh, as i said it is a bi-stable device so it has two stable states one is zero and the other one is uh, one so it can retain that state uh, for a particular input that is given based on the truth table so uh, there are uh, four different types of flip-flops that is uh, sr flip-flop d flip-flop t flip-flop jk flip-flop so uh, all these flip-flops uh, the um, uh, basic circuit will be uh, uh, using NAND gates so here we have to use uh, two input NAND gates or three input NAND gates depending on the circuit diagram so coming to the first one that is SR flip-flop here SR flip-flop uh, we are using two input NAND gates here a clock is given so here uh, in order to supply the clock uh, you can uh, connect it from continuous clock pulse or from monopulse but it is better to um, connect it from continuous clock pulse so from uh, take a patch code connect it to the continuous clock pulse uh, uh, slot and give the other um, end connect the other end to this two ends and this is a truth table which you have to verify so when we give sr both as zero then it is qn qn and qn plus 1 are um, states so qn plus 1 can be viewed uh, and can be understood as uh, present state and qn will be uh, previous state or last state qn plus 1 will be present state so uh, for an example if we give 0 1 as input then our output that we get will be 0 then if we give 0 0 it is given qn that is previous state that means if uh, the previous state was 0 then the output that we obtain will be 0 itself again if we give 1 0 we will get 1 as output after that if we give 0 0 again we will get 1 because that was the previous output that we had so that is what is meant by previous state uh, then here uh, for jk flip-flop here uh, we have see this is a three input nand gate this is a three input nand gate this is also a three input nand gate so for both of this um, for both of this uh, you have to use three input nand gate and for this two input nand gate so for this you have to use 7400 ic and for this 7410 ic then this is the truth table that uh, has to be verified so here uh, it is qn complement that is whatever the previous state was its complement should uh, should be the output if we give one one as input then preset and clear in all the cases should be high that is the one thing which you have to remember preset and clear should be high next is d flip-flop uh, so d flip-flop again we have only one input here so in all the previous uh, flip-flops we had two two inputs that is sr 
S and R are inputs. J and K are inputs. Then outputs are Q and Q complement. Both should be connected. So if um, Q is high, Q complement should be low. So whatever the value of Q, its complement, we should give, get at the uh, uh, Q bar. Then here also D flip flop also. Mm, the connection has to be uh, the same. Uh, here again 7400 and 7410 IC should be used. This is a truth table that has to be verified. Uh, then uh, here again there is a NOT gate here. There is a NOT gate here. And uh, the so uh, one connection from D should be given to this NAND gate. And the other should and to the other NAND gate the from uh, the connection uh, from D, the connection should be taken and should be given to a NOT gate input and the output from that NOT gate should be taken and given as connection to this NAND gate. That is how the connection has to be. Uh, rest everything is just the same. Here again preset and clear should be high and clock should be given. Here it is better we give continuous clock pulse. Next is uh, T flip flop or toggle flip flop. So this is the circuit diagram for uh, T flip flop. Here again, all are three input NAND gates. All are three input NAND gates. If you see the connection here, uh, see T, it is directly connected uh, to both the NAND gates. Then uh, input, uh, also output from Q complement will be taken and given as another input to T. And again here also output from Q will be taken and given as another input to uh, this NAND gate. So this is the truth table that has to be verified. So uh, here if we give 0 as input then whatever the uh, state was it will remain the same. If it is 0 it will remain 0. If it is 1 it will remain 1. Whereas if we give 1 then whatever the previous state was it should be complemented that is what the output that we get here so this is all about uh, verifying the flip flops uh, so uh, here it is just um, constructing the circuit and verifying the truth table so thank you